Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, machines and machine freaks. I hope you guys are having a super, super froggy fresh day. Today in New York, we have some beautiful, beautiful weather as you'll see once I open up the door, if I get that shot or if I don't get that shot. Just trust me that it's nice outside. The, the bees are buzzing, the birds are chirping, and Mother Nature is finally giving us New Yorkers a break. And thank goodness for that. As you guys saw in yesterday's vlog, I did get the Wrangler back. The dealership didn't do too much for me. They were kind of saying the same things Jason told me, but we figured we'd go to them, see if they could do anything with the PCM, because they said they might. However, they could not do something with this vehicle. So where do you go when you have any kind of sketchy vehicle, or if you ever want sketchy parts, you go to eBay. I went to eBay. So I told them the situation. I called this one company up. They said, well, we, we can do something for you as long as your PCM is working and it doesn't have this and they gave me an acronym. I don't remember that acronym. However, the, he, he gave me some more information. So I'm getting my information from like three different sources here. So I finally just said, you know what? I'm gonna buy a new PCM and then this way I can program it exactly how I want it. So that's, that's what I did. Hopefully it works. It still isn't bulletproof yet. Wish me luck. I just got back from my shopping spree. I bought some steel and I bought some wood. I really want to get this ramp door going. And I want to get it complete. Here's three more pieces of steel and two big pieces of wood. The hinges for this thing are also ordered along with the lock. So once those things come in, we can get this thing all put together. We can then take it back apart, get it powder coated. That way it's lifetime whether the camper is or not. Shots are not fired. That's just something for future for your future plans. Some of you might be disappointed in me. I picked up a new habit. I am now a dipper. Yes, that is right. I am now a dipper. That's some good dip. And then chaos happened. I got the gas and then I ran out of wire. I went to go buy some wire. I went off of what the old cartridge said it was. Unfortunately, it wasn't the right size. So I had to get these really, really small drill bits because the place that I bought the wire from is closed. There's a drill bit right here. You can see that right there. Well, that bit is so small, it won't go in that drill. So what I actually had to do was put the welding tip into the drill and then basically turn this instead of turning the bit. Now I have the right contact tip for that wire, so now I have to buy new contact tips in the future. I'll just have to remember that. So I bored this out. Like you would an engine on a dirt bike rebuild, I bored out this stupid little thing. <laughs> I am getting ready to mount that piece of wood. I got a whole bunch of tech screws here, so they're self-drilling. <coughs> 20 minutes later. Everybody else got sick. I didn't get sick. I'm finally getting sick. 90% of my stuff is eighth inch. Uh, the last two pieces that I bought are 3 16 I think they sold me the wrong size on accident. Or it's one of those 30 second things, one or the other, it's just thicker. Yes, I'm wearing the jacket because I was welding. Come on now, it's not that cold in New York anymore. Got the first piece of plywood laid. I'm going to make a mark because as you guys know, I'm going to eventually paint this or powder coat this. I have no idea. But uh, once we figure out what we want to do, I'm going to put a mark on there so we can take the wood off, put it back on, and we know where everything goes here. We don't have to worry about it. Now I'd like to know how much strength this plywood gave it. Man, this door's heavy. Oh, yeah. That thing's definitely going to be strong enough to put a car on. I love this team that we have here. I just looked at the comments from yesterday's video because I just put that up a few minutes ago. So I like to read through the comments, see what people are saying so that I can come on this video and answer some of those questions and a couple other comments that we'll get to in just a second. But I did finish putting that second board on. I also marked this one so that we know exactly how these boards go together. Yeah. Definitely gonna need spring assist, no doubt about it. So you guys saw in yesterday's vlog that I got this thing back from the dealership and a lot of people were saying, hey, you know, why don't you just go old school and just have a carburetor buggy? Well, the problem with the carburetor buggy is we won't be able to turbo it. I wanna turbo this thing. I wanna, I wanna make more horse than we have. And I also wanna hear that stupid little whistle that everybody loves. And not only that, but when we open up this beauty, I wanna see something a little bit more beautiful than this. I wanna see a little bit of plumbing going on, if you know what I'm saying. Other people were talking about putting a diesel in this. The only thing is, is I'm not a diesel mechanic, so I don't really know. If anything were to happen in the future, I don't really know how to work on anything like that. 
we stick with gas, we don't have that many issues. Also, I'm not too familiar with the weight of a six cylinder gasser to a four cylinder diesel. And then if you're talking full blown six cylinder diesel, then you're talking a lot of weight. I mean, you're getting a lot of torque, but uh, it's just, this is supposed to be, eventually I wanna make it a rock crawler and a daily or just, you know, be able to drive it down the road kind of thing. I also had another gentleman that went down in the comment section and told me how to get rid of my sore throat, which is awesome, so thank you very much. So I ended up buying a 1999 Jeep Wrangler uh, PCM for this thing. The sketchy eBay listing said all I have to do is send them the VIN and they'll send me a program PCM for this vehicle. And then we should no longer have to fret about PCMs and you won't hear about that nonsense anymore. I'm really getting sick of talking about it, to tell you the truth. I wish the thing just drove and we could start having a braptastic time, but uh, the PCM, not very good. Another topic of discussion, Jason and Jake wanna paint this thing. Well, mostly Jason wants to paint this thing. Now I've seen a crap ton of red Jeeps since I bought this thing. Every single Jeep I've ever seen since I bought this thing has been the exact same color combination, red and black. The other night when everybody was here, we were going through our cell phones and seeing what colors that we liked. We all agreed upon a certain color, but it's not red, which is cool and which is good, but at the same time, we're gonna have to totally repaint this thing. Because, say for example, we wanna go with black. We're not gonna paint it black. If you have a suggestion, leave it in the comment section below. But if you change this color to say black, now you have to take every single red piece off and repaint it. So all these stupid doors in here, you're gonna have to repaint that. Now I guess you wouldn't have to do that, but wouldn't it be silly if you opened up the vehicle and then it was red on the inside? Or you pop the hood and then you see red on the firewalls. So I'm kind of shying away from getting away from red. I think I want to keep red. And another thing is Jason wants to paint this thing. I do not want to paint this thing. Ian wanted me to make a door. I did not want to make a door. I wish I listened to myself about that. And I'm thinking that I'm going to listen to myself about this because Ian said yes about that. I said no. I'm regretting it. I did the Duramax and I said I would never paint again, so I'm saying no on this one. All that means is I'm going to take it somewhere to get it painted. So if you have a Friday Fresh color idea or some sort of braptastic decals or stickers to put on this thing, please leave it in the comment section below. We would really appreciate seeing what you have to say. I hope you enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until next time, 3D Machines out. Have a Friday Fresh day.